In this video, I'm going to be showing you this navigate button at the top. Um, what this is, is it's a new button in Fusion FX3. You used to have a whole lot of different buttons that you could choose from, different options to rotate and turn and go backwards and zoom in and, and things like that. Uh, now they've just focused it on one button. So basically what you would do, you would click on this, this button or you can double click on this button to, to make sure that it's, it's always there. And then from there, you would click, left click and hold, and then it goes into draft. And then you can move your mouse to the left. You can move it down to go backwards, up to go forward, right to rotate, and you would go to the middle to, to stop it from, from moving. So go back a bit, let's rotate a bit until we get to about there. And then you let go and then it will start rendering for you. If, again, if you're not happy with it, because I double clicked on the navigate button, I can click and hold when it's finished rendering and move myself to another position. So I'm just waiting for it to render there. Okay. So click and hold. Okay, so you click, hold, and you can go backwards a little bit at an angle, get a nicer view if you, if you wanted to. So there we go. That's how to use the, the new navigate button. Um, it is quite handy. You don't have to, to go to the, the navigate view on, on the right to, to look at that. But I can show you how to use that navigate view on, on the right as well when, when this is finished. Um, so basically, you can open up the navigate view. It's minimized on the right hand side at the moment. It opens up there, and you can go right click and left click anywhere you like. So you, you right click where you want to stand, left click where you want to look, and it starts rendering for you. Okay, and you can move yourself around as you, as you like. So let's get a a nicer view over here and I can make this the clipping plane is zero so it stands a bit back and you can also change the the heights as well so view from height would be from where you're standing from where the circle is and view to height is where the that X is so let's have a look and see what I can do. If I go from height, I say 1, 8. So we're going to go from over here, 1, 800. And we'll go to view height 1, 2. You'll start noticing now it will, it will be a little bit above. And it's going to start looking down towards the sink. When that's finished rendering, obviously my navigate view is it pops out from the left. So if you're wanting to to get rid of that, it will. You just need to click anywhere on your screen, like click on your your wall, and it will will get rid of that. Obviously, you you do need to take off the navigate button, otherwise it will start rendering it again. So when you have your your render done. And let's say you, you've put a chair. All you need to do is just click anywhere outside and it will get rid of that, that navigate view for you. Um, and there we, we go. You, that's how, how easy it is. There's another little section here, left and right, which is basically the change, change view button in the old one. But this is slightly different now. So basically you go left and right. And I'm going to change this to 100. Change this to 1,200. Now what's this going to do what this is going to do is going to take it from clipping plane from there across so you standing over here looking at this x point but you're only now looking in front of this this x so basically what this this allows you to do is you like to go left right click there right right mouse click over there now you're standing way outside the room looking towards that x 
but you're only looking in front of that left and right. So this left and right mustn't be cutting anything. It mustn't go across a cupboard or, or anything like that. It must be in, in open space like I've done it there. You can see it's, it's nice because for a small kitchen like this, you can step back and see a, a whole lot more in that design. So when I'm finished with that navigate button, I can click there and you can see a little bit more of that kitchen. You can see how nice it is when it's when you've got a small kitchen and you step back a little bit. You can see a lot more of that that kitchen. So those are the, the features of, of the navigate view. You've got the navigate button. Also, you've got the the from and also the left and right. So those are the, the buttons that, that are quite useful to know on the, the navigate button. The last one that I wanted to show you is this view angle. You can change this from 70 or 69 to, let's say, 90, and it will give you a little bit more uh, viewing. It basically opens up that, that button. So let's go left there, right there, and you're able to see a, just a little bit more. It basically opens up the angle for you. Again, it's handy when you've got a, a small kitchen. Well, thank you so much for, for watching this video. Uh, if you've got any questions, just give call Maxima Software and if you're in South Africa or Southern Africa, uh, and we'll be able to, to assist you. Uh, thanks again for watching.